three. Good afternoon, second grade. It is ready for math class, okay? So for math today, you're going to need your two sprints. You're going to need your application problem. You're going to need the problem set. And you will need the exit ticket, okay? You will need the exit ticket. So that is what we're going to be working on today. <clears throat> today we're going to be um, solving addition and subtraction word problems using a ruler as a number line. So we're still going to be measuring today. And but we're going to measure in a kind of a fun way that we have to add bunches of numbers together to be able to to see how long the line is. So it'll be kind of interesting. <clears throat> so if you could get your exit ticket, I'm sorry, if you could get your um, first sprint out, sprint A, and if you look at this sprint, <clears throat> we are adding centimeters, okay, adding centimeters together, and then in the second column, we are adding centimeters to centimeters to get to a meter. So you have to remember what a meter is. Okay, how much one meter is. And we talked about that yesterday. But before we get started, I'm going to kind of give you another clue to what a meter is. Okay. One meter is 100 centimeters. Okay, one meter equals 100 centimeters. So I'm going to kind of put that on the board. 100 centimeters equals one meter. Okay? So when you get to those problems and it says blank centimeters plus, say, 52 centimeters equals one meter, you know these two have to add up to be 100, okay? So that's how you would figure that out, okay? Little clue, that's how you would figure that one out. So I'm going to leave that part there, just in case anybody gets that far. Okay, here we go. Ready for our sprint. Pencils up. When the timer stops, you need to put your pencil down. Ready? Go. Pencils are down. Mrs. Patterson didn't get very far with this one either. So I'm going to have to really do some thinking. <clears throat> okay, so let's correct sprint A. Okay, number one is 90. So 10 centimeters plus 90 centimeters equals that 100 centimeters. So number one is 90. Number two, 70. Number three, 50. Number four, 30. Number five, 10, number 6, 20, number 7, 40, number 8, 60, number 9, 80. Those are pretty easy. Here we get to the number 10, it would be 79. Number 11 would be 77. Number 12 would be 75. Number 13 would be 73. Number 14 would be 63. Number 15 would be 62. Number 16 would be 61. Number 17 
would be 51. Number 18 would be 50. Number 19 would be 48. Number 20 would be 44. Number 21 would be 42. Number 22 would be 38. Number 23 would be 38. Number 24 would be 28. Number 25 would be 8. Number 26 would be, I gotta think about this one. Would be 59. No, 51. 51. Number 27 would be 41. No, 51. Because 9 would be there, yep. Yeah. Hey, number 28 would be 41. Number 29 would be... Let's see, that would be 11. Number 30 would be 12. Number 31 would be 32. Number 32 would be 82. Number 33 would be 85. Number 34 would be 45. Number 35 would be 66. Number 36 would be 45. Number 37 would be 12. One meter, uh, 38 it would be, we've got this one turned around. One meter plus blank would be that 33. So that would be 67. And then 39 would be 24. And 40 would be 1. And then we have some subtraction ones there. 1 meter minus 11, that would be 89. 1 meter, uh, 42 would be 1 meter minus 15, that would be 85. And then 1 meter minus 17 on 43 would be 83. And 1 meter minus 19 would be... 81. Okay, so that was our sprint. And we are not going to do the second sprint because it's just identical to the one that we did. So we're not going to do sprint B. We're going to move right on into our problem set. Those numbers are a little hard and a little tricky to do in our head. And I feel like, you know, we'll have plenty of chances to do those later in the classroom. But right now I want to get through with the math lesson. Okay, so if you get your problem set out, we're going to move on to the problem set page. Okay, here is our problem for today. Luigi has nine more books than Mario. Luigi has 52 books. How many books does Mario have? Let's listen again. Luigi has nine more books than Mario. Luigi has 52 books. How many books does Mario have? Okay, well, let's start with that. We know that Luigi has nine more than Mario, right? So that's Luigi. He has nine more than Mario, and in total, Luigi has 52, okay? So he has 52, which is nine more than, Louis, than Mario has. So my question is, how many does Mario have? How many 
Anthony. Mario. Okay, that's what they're asking is how many Mario? Well, yesterday's problem set told us that somebody had seven less than the other person. And we had to add to get that answer. Okay, because I showed you how we could how we could figure that out. Now, in this one, we have Luigi has that 52, which is nine more than Mario. So really what we have is Luigi has 52, okay? He has 52, which is the total of how many they have. And we know that, that he is nine more than Mario. So we could set that up as a subtraction problem, okay? Because we know that he has more, nine more, so to find out Mario's, we have to subtract. We have to subtract. So if we're gonna subtract, we need a rip for our basement. We need that basement number, right? We need that basement number. And that is gonna give us Mario's. That is gonna give us Mario's amount of books, okay? Okay, so let's go on and set this up as subtraction. My problem would be 52 minus that nine, okay? 52 minus nine. Well, let's, let's take out something from 52. Let's take out something from 52, okay? So if we took out 10, Okay, if we took out 10, then we could subtract our 10 minus 9. So, let's take 10 out. If I take 10 out, I have 42 left. Okay? So, let's subtract. We're going to subtract that not 10 minus that 9. Okay? So, we have 10 minus 9 equals 1. Now we're going to add. We're going to add. Okay? I'm just thinking out in my head. So I'm going to add 42 plus 1. And 42 plus that one there gives me 43, okay? So if I add nine to 43, I would come up with 52 because I have 43. If, I had, if I'm adding nine to it, I have 43. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So if I add nine, if I add that nine to 43, I get that 52. So, Mario, has 43 books, okay? So, just like yesterday's, where we had to, we had to add them, because we had to add more to get to it. This one, even though we says nine more, we had to actually subtract it so that we could see how many Mario had. Because Luigi had nine more than Mario. So we had to subtract that nine to be able to do it. You just gotta make sure that you're looking at all the terminology and, and what they're saying in there, okay? Okay, let's move on with what we're teaching today. So if you could just put your pencils down, okay, and if you could just watch what I'm going to do, then I'm going to teach you what we're going to be doing in class today, okay? So I said one of the things that we're going to be doing is we are going to be measuring different lengths of different lines and adding them all together, 
okay, and adding them all together. So let's say that this square, or this rectangle actually, it's still as a rectangle, is my yard. And I want to put a fence around it. But I need to know how much fence to buy. So I need to measure all four sides and add them together to see how much fence I need to buy. So what I would do is I would measure each side, starting with the end point on the end of my ruler. You can see that I've got my end point on the end of the ruler. And the first one is 10 centimeters. Well, if this is a triangle, I'm trying, this is Patterson's Tower, this is a Friday. If this is a rectangle, then this side would also be 10 centimeters. If it was a rectangle, these two sides are the same and these are the same. So let me see what this side is. There again, I'm going to measure at the, right at the end point, and this side is 6 centimeters. So this side is 6 centimeters. So now, I can put all this together to see how much fence I need. So I can write a problem. 10 plus 6 plus 10 plus 6. Got my two 10s and my two 6s. Now I can add those all together. Well, if I add 10 plus 6, that's a slide number, that would be 16. If I add this 10 plus this 6, that would be 16. Now I'm going to add 16 plus 16. So I can easily add 16 plus 16. Okay? If I need to, I could pull out from the 16. I could pull out that 10 and that 6. And then I can add this 10 plus this 16. 10 plus 16, because I'm adding a tens number, it's easier, would give me 26, and then I would add this six and this 26 together. 26 plus six would be 32 centimeters, okay? Be 32 centimeters. So I could buy a fence that was enough material for to make a fence that was 36 centimeters. Another thing that they would call this is called a perimeter. A perimeter. Anytime I have a shape that's all closed together like this, whether it's a diamond, a square, a rectangle, a star, there's a perimeter. The perimeter is adding all four sides together. That is called a perimeter. Okay, well let me show you another example of measuring something. Remember, you're just watching me. You're not doing anything. Well, what if I have this shape? Let's say I have stairs. I have my stairs. And I need to put carpet on my stairs. I want to put some carpeting going up the stairs. Okay? Actually, I'm going to make one more because it would be perfect to make a stairs that way. There. I want to go up those steps with carpet. I want to lay a piece of carpet that goes here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. I want to put some carpeting in. Well, before I can have somebody come and put my carpeting in, I need to find out how much carpet I need so I know when I go buy it, I can tell them, well, I need this amount of carpet, and then they can measure it for me. So, here again, to do this, we're going to measure each line. So, oh, I'm going to start at the top with my number one, that, that's that end point, and I'm going to come down to where my end point stops right here. So, this section is 10 centimeters, okay? Now, I'm going to measure from this end point to this end point. Well, I'm going to put it on the end, and I'm going to measure it over. And it's 16 because I'm stopping. I'm stopping right where I put my pencil tip at. Okay? From the end point to where I put my pencil, right there in that bend, right there where they come together. And this part is 16 
centimeters. Now I gotta measure up again. So I'm gonna start on my end point. I'm gonna start on my end point and measure up. And this one is 12. So I'm gonna put that on this side here. 12 centimeters. Well, now I gotta measure this part again. Gotta measure this part. I'm gonna start on my end point. And end, we're gonna end right there where I have my pencil. Right there in that bend. And it is 13 centimeters. Now I've gotta go up again. I've gotta measure going up. So I'm gonna start at my end point. And this one is 11 centimeters. And I gotta go one more over. One more over to, my, to get on my landing. I'm gonna start again right here on the end to the end, and this one is 19 centimeters. So I've measured the steps going up, but that still does not tell me how much carpet I need to buy. I still gotta add it all together, okay? So I can add it together. Well, I'm gonna start pretty easy with adding. I have 10, plus 16, plus 12, and you're thinking, oh no, I can't do this. I'm gonna show you how we can do this. Plus 13, plus 11, plus 19, okay? I'm gonna add all that together, and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add these two together. I'm gonna add these two together. I'm going to add these two together. Okay, so I'm going to bring it down. I have six numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And by adding two together at a time, I'm going to bring it down to three numbers. So 10 plus 16 would be that 26 plus 12 plus 13. I can do that if I need to make pencil marks, if I need to make quick draws, I can do that. This would be 25 plus 11 plus 19, that would be 30. That would be 30, okay? So now I've got it down from six numbers down to three numbers. And I'm gonna add these three numbers together. I'm gonna add 26 and 25 first. 26 plus 25 would be 51. And I could make tally marks. I'm, I can make I can make my tens and ones marks and figure that out. Plus 30. That 30. Okay? So now I'm at 51 plus 30. 51 plus 30. If I wanted to do this, I could do I have five tens. 1, 2, or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, plus 1. And then I have 30, 10, 20, 30. And I can go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1. To get my total of 81. So I would need 81 centimeters of carpet to do my steps. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. That's what we're gonna be doing today, okay? Measuring like this, and it's, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to do it that way. So, if you have your ruler, make sure that it's cut out so we can use it, okay? Have your ruler cut out so we can use it, because you're gonna be using it some. So I think it's easier than the ruler that they have on the paper for you because the ruler that they have on the paper from you, for you already, it doesn't, the lines don't start over on the one. And then people are going to say, well, I'm just going to start where it starts. And that's really not where we start measuring. We start measuring from the end. We, stop, we start measuring from the end. Okay? So we have line A. Okay, and we have line B, okay? And we need to measure them with our centimeter ruler. So 
with your, don't worry about the ruler that's there. With your centimeter ruler, let's measure A. So remember, the end goes at the end point. So measure line A. Yep, line A is about three centimeters. Let's measure line B. Remember, we're starting on the end point. It's line B. Yeah. We could also we could say that line B is four centimeters. It's between three and four, so let's move it up to the four centimeters. Okay, is four centimeters. Okay, so. There's my measurements. Line A is three centimeters. Line B is four centimeters. And that answers my first two questions. A, line A is blank centimeters long. Question B is line B is blank centimeters long. So that's what we would write those in at. Right here, we would be writing those in. Here and here. That's what we would write those answers, okay? Here and here. That's where the answers are. Well, let's see what line, what question C says. Question C says, together, line A and B measure blank centimeters. Well, if they want to know together, that means we need to add. We need to add. So, to add them together, we would have 3 plus 4. What is 3 plus 4? Well, we have 3. Four, five, six, seven. It is seven. So the answer to question C is seven centimeters. Okay? Then we have question D yet. Question D says, line A is blank centimeters longer or shorter than line B. Listen to that again. Line A is blank centimeters longer or shorter. Well, let's get that part first. Longer or shorter? Which one's longer? B. So A would be shorter. So in the parentheses, it says longer, shorter. Okay? And you're going to circle the word shorter. Line A is shorter than line B. Now they want to know by how much. Well, to find out how much shorter it is, we need to subtract. So we have the problem of 4, we always put that first, big number first, minus 3 equals, if I have 4, and I take one away, I have three left. Oh, I'm sorry, I have four, and I take one away, two away, three away, I have one left. So, this answer here would be one centimeter. And then you've also circled the, num the word shorter to figure out those answers, okay? So that's how that would work. We didn't use the, center, the ruler that's on there. We used our own. Okay, let's do the next one. The next one is a fun one. It's about a cricket. And it says we have a number line already on here, a ruler. So it has a ruler, and the ruler starts at 15, and it ends at 30. Okay? So, we would have 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Probably not going to get all the way up there. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, I'll fix it. <laughs> 27, 28, 
29, and here was my 30. Okay? So, I can put my numbers in, and you're just, you, you already have yours on your paper, so I'm getting it on my paper, up here, up here on my board, so you can see. Okay? And I know my numbers are close together, and I'm so sorry about that. There's 24, 25, 20, this would be 23, this is 24, this one is 25, this one is 26, 27, 28, 29. There, maybe you can see a little bit better. Okay, so it says in my word problem, it says a cricket jumped five centimeters forward. So he went hop, hop, hop five times and nine centimeters backwards. Hop, 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 hop nine times back. Then stopped. Okay, so he hopped five centimeters forward and then nine centimeters backwards. And then he stopped. If the cricket started on 23, where did he stop? Okay, show your work on the broken centimeter ruler. So, he started right here. There's my cricket on 23. So you need to put a little star or a dot, something above the 23. That's where the cricket started. It says he went forward five hops. One, two, three, four, five. He hopped forward five hops. So we're going to make him hop five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now my cricket is at 28. He's at 28. So there's my cricket now. Here's my cricket now, 28, okay? Then he hopped backwards nine centimeters. So he took nine hops backwards. Well, he's at 28, so now we gotta hop back. So I'm gonna draw another little, dark, little star up here for my cricket above that 28. And he's gonna hop back nine times, okay? So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here's my cricket. What number is he on? Yeah, he's on 19 centimeters. That's where he landed. So he started on 23, he hopped five times, and then he hopped backwards starting where it ended to get back to 19. So that is the hopping of the cricket. That is the hopping of a cricket on the center, on the ruler, okay? And they only showed us part of the ruler because we didn't need the whole ruler. Okay, on the back side, the second side of your problem set, you see the lines. We have lines that go like this and down and over and up over at an angle, down, and over. You have that shape for number three. That is the shape for number three. And it says each part of the path is four length units. Okay? Each is four length units. What is the total length of the path? Well, they're telling me that each Part is four. Okay? And they want to know what's the total. So I have to number them. This part is four. 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 
This part is four. This part is four. And this part is four. So each line is four. This one, 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 and that one. They're all four. They're all fours, because that's what it told me. Now they want to know, how long is that line? So we have to add all of our fours together. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight fours to add together. So let's make our problem. Four plus four plus four, that's three, but we want eight, plus four, that's four, that's five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna count my fours to make sure I have eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. We're gonna do the same thing we did a while ago. We're gonna narrow it down. We're gonna add these two, and these two, and these two, and these two. Four plus four is eight. Bring my plus sign down. Four plus four is eight. Bring my plus sign down. Four plus four is eight. Bring my plus sign down. Four plus four is eight. Well, I'm gonna narrow it down some more. I'm gonna add this one and this one and this one and this one. Eight plus eight is 16 plus eight plus eight is 16. Hey, now I have 16 plus 16. Okay, I can, I can make quick draws for that. I have a 10 and then I have six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have a 10 and I have six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, before I start adding here and counting, because before I start counting, I can do some things. So I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Do you see how I did that? I counted my two tens first. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So that line is 32 units. 32 units. Okay. Everybody got that one? It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun when we get doing them and they look this way. Okay? It's pretty fun. Hey, we have one more. One more. It says, Ben took two different ways home from school to see which way was the quickest. All streets on Route A are the same length. All streets on Route B are the same length. So here's A. It goes over, up, over, dip, down, over, down, over. You have seven lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it says they are all five meters. So they're all five. So this is a five. This sideway one here is a five. This one's a five. This sideway one's a five. This one's a five. This sideway one's a five. And this sideway's a five. I should have, I should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven fives. This is route A, okay? Then the other route that he took starts at the same place. That's the dotted line on your paper. And it goes down, over, down, over, and up. 
So that's, this is route B. It's your dotted line. It's the dotted line. You can see we have a solid line, which is A, and we have the dotted line, which is B. So route B, they're all sevens. This is a seven, and this is a seven. This is a seven, and this is a, this is a seven. This is a seven, and this is a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Now we need to see which way is the shortest. So question A says, how many meters is route A? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven fives, okay? So we can say five plus five plus five plus five. That's four. Here's five, six. I'm going to put one in the front. Go back and count. Make sure I have five of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do. Okay? Well, I'm smart, and I know you're smart. So let's count by fives. As we touch, we'll count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Let's do that again. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So line A is 35 meters. Okay? Question B says, well, how many meters is route B? We have the sevens. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's add them. Seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six sevens. Okay, well, let's do this. These two, these two, these two. Seven plus seven is 14. Seven plus seven is 14. Seven plus seven is 14. Let's do these two, okay? Here again, we can make our marks. We can do one, one, two, three, four. We have another 14. One, one, two, three, four. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Plus 14. We can make those marks. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And then we have 14, which would be 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we can add these together. Count this up. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Let's count that again. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So, route B is 42 meters. Hey, what's the difference between the two routes? Now they want us to subtract. What's the difference between route A and route B? So, we can have a problem that is 42 minus 35. Okay? 42 minus 35. So we could count, we could figure that all out too. Okay? Say, so 1, two, or 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. Then we have 35. Well, we can take away 3, 1, 2, 3, but we don't have enough here to do this. So we need to make this 10, this 10 into 10 individual ones. Okay? So we need to make it into 10 individual ones. So we could change that to 10 and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Plus we already have these two right here. 
That's the same thing. Now we can take away five. One, two, three, four, five. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. We have seven left. So we have this one's left, which is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So the answer to C is 17 meters. Okay, 17 meters. That's a lot of work, a lot of steps. And I don't expect you guys to memorize them all by heart. Okay? Okay, so you have one last thing to do, and that is your exit ticket. On your exit ticket, it says to use the ruler. You don't have to use this one. You can use your ruler that you have, your plastic, your one that you cut out. Measure and do the, and then you are going to find out if it's longer or shorter. Reading it all. Okay? Good luck. Make sure your name is on it. I will talk to you later.